turning back to the Human Rights Watch report on Israel. Israel is outraged after the release of this new report from Human Rights Watch, which is accusing Israel of committing apartheid and persecution against Arabs in the Palestinian territories and Israel itself. Well, joining us now to break this down is Arsen Ostrovsky. He's the CEO of the International Legal Forum. So what does Israel stand accused of exactly in this report? Hi, Natasha. Look, uh, Israel stands accused of uh, one of the most heinous crimes uh, in international law, the crime of apartheid. The actual word apartheid is mentioned almost more times than there are pages in this report. But the very fact of that matter is meaningless. They could say that the earth is flat 200 times, but that will not make it any truer. What this report is, essentially, it is just the latest attack from the human right to watch relentless assault against the state of Israel as part of their lawfare campaign. It may be written under the pretext or under the guise of international law of human rights, but at the end of the day, this report is replete with malicious lies, with gross distortions of truth and fact and law, while peddling this incredible hate and racist stereotypes, I would actually add as well. The one thing I would I would add in addition, we need to bear in mind that the author and lead research of this report, a man by the name of Omar Shakir. In 2019, he was forced to leave Israel after the Supreme Court upheld the decision not to renew his visa because, because he was actively involved in the racist and anti-Semitic BDS campaign. So we have to put this uh, in context where this is coming from, why this is right. coming from now, and essentially why this is uh, such well, a baseless and unjust. Well, tell report. us about Human Rights Watch and what this organization does and why they're releasing this report right now. Look, ostensibly, uh, Human Rights Watch uh, is an organization um, that is meant to uh, promote and defend human rights. But when it comes to Israel, the organization has, over a number of decades now, had this obsession with the Jewish state. In 2009, the Human Rights Watch uh, founder, Bob Bernstein, wrote in an, uh, an op-ed in the New York Times that the organization had lost its critical perspective over its obsession with the State of Israel. And we have seen a litany of one-sided reports that single out the State of Israel, that apply a double standard to the Jewish state that is not applied to any other country in the world that seeks to minimize um, our self-determination right. rights. And that is essentially part of the vilification campaign against Israel. Quick, quick answer here. What does a report like this mean for Israel, especially given the fact that we're seeing the International Criminal Court also opening a formal investigation into Israel's alleged war crimes in the territories? Look, uh, the, the timing of the International Criminal Court um, investigation and the release of this report, it's not a coincidence. Um, Human Rights Watch has been part of the BDS campaign for a long time. They've been actively uh, lobbying the International Criminal Court right. to pursue an investigation of Israel. So the release of uh, this report is uh, no coincidence. All right, Arsene, thank you so much for joining us with that breakdown. We are out for a quick break.